Hi, I'm Ellie from Buttons Parties and I'm going to do a little series of videos on dry ice experiments. So I've got my dry ice um, and I get this from chillystick.com um, and I'll put a link below this video so you can see um, who they are. Um, and I've got my cauldron so you could do this for a wizard, a witches themed party, you could do it for a science party, a dinosaurs, volcanoes, uh, loads of different things. Um, I've got my cauldron today as if it was a wizard party and the first thing I'm going to do is um, create some smog, some smoke with the dry ice. So it's so easy to do this and the effect is brilliant and the kids just absolutely love it. So I'm going to do a couple of safety things first. Um, you need to make sure the children can't get anywhere near the dry ice. It's so cold, like minus 80, um, so it will give you a frostbite burn if you touch it with your bare skin. Um, it, very dangerous if you were to put it in your mouth. So the children can't get near it, you just need to be very careful with it. Um, Chili stick give you two pairs of blue gloves, so I've double gloved on one hand, in case I drop any dry ice I can pick it up very quickly and put it back in, um, but I'm actually going to use a scoop to get the dry ice out of the box um, and for all the different experiments that I would do this is what I'd use. Um, you're going to get safety information um, whoever you buy your dry ice from so just make sure you read it thoroughly. So, so simple, bowl or cauldron with hot water in, doesn't have to be boiling, just hot water in from the tap. Um, this is about a third of the way up in my cauldron. Uh, your scoop and your dry ice. Now I would get the children to gather round the table, so I'd be standing behind a table um, with them in a kind of um, semicircle in front of me so everyone could see. I normally have the dry ice behind me as well. Um, and then they all get to see exactly what's going on. So these are your dry ice pellets and you simply put them in. And this is the effect you get. How cool is that? It's so cool. They absolutely love this. Now you can pick it up. It does get a bit cold um, through plastic or glass um, and it will get very cold through a metal bowl. I wouldn't use a metal bowl if I was you. Um, but you can absolutely pick it up and you can pass it around the children like this and you can blow it. Um, and they can um, put their hand over the smog can't put their hand inside, okay, because if they put their hand in the water they'll be touching the dry ice, but they can certainly put their hand over and they can feel it, and actually um, you can feel that it's cold. So they do quite like to do that and just touch, touch it and feel. And you can do that a couple of times, it makes such a good effect on the table when you do this, kind of flowing over. It's really cool. And it's just that simple, guys. Really, really simple um, to do that one. So that's your first one, kind of a cauldron of smoke or smog. Um, you could even do something like this uh, next to a cake. So if you were going to have um, a cake on display and you wanted to have a really cool effect on the table, you could do something like this as long as it was being supervised. Um, so yeah, loads of different things. And also, somebody the other day was telling me about a volcano cake um, with this in the middle. So a jar in the middle um, of a volcano cake with all of this coming out, which would just be amazing. Um, and I'll probably try and do something um, on that a little bit later in another video. So yeah, there's your first one. Look below if you want some information on what we do for dry ice parties, if you want someone to come and do it for you. If you want to buy your own dry ice, have a little look at um, chillystick.com. Um, and yeah, I hope you have loads of fun if you're going to get some dry ice.